make us a noise. Hey everybody, it is Mr. C and welcome back my science ninjas. I am so pumped up about this video. We're actually going to build a ping pong ball cannon. You heard me right, a ping pong ball cannon where you can fire ping pong balls at your friends and families. Pretty awesome. And what's even more cool is that these ping pong balls have Mr. C's new hair raising science logo on it. Check it out. The first piece of equipment you need is this one and a quarter inch T fitting. I bought this one at Lowe's. You also need some ping pong balls. You have to go to Home Depot. This is the only place I found these. And here, I'll show you. What these are, are super long tube holders, right? They're clear tube guides. And basically, here, I'll set it over here so you can kind of see it. Basically, it's so that you can put it, your light bulbs into them, some fluorescent lights, and you can store them so they don't get dinged up. But these are perfect for this activity because the ping pong ball fits in beautifully and it moves very easily. And it's going to allow you to have an amazing, amazing cartridge of ping pong balls. As you can see here, I made a shorter version of it so that I could reload my ping pong ball cannon um, as needed. So we have our one and a quarter inch T connector, clear tube guides. We've got lots of ping pong balls. We have our hair dryer, but we have to find a way to connect all of these things so that it works. So I took my hair dryer to Lowe's and what I ended up finding is that this rubber connector was part of this it's called a plum quick connector and it's it's one and a half inch to one and a half inch so it's a little bit bigger and which is important because this needs to fit over this very very snug this was part of this okay so this is part of this I'll show it to the camera what I did is I just pulled that out at the store and I fitted it to my hair dryer now you might have to get a different size connector based on your hairdryer, but this is really cool. Ah, maybe. Because when you get it on, it's nice and snug and it fits in perfectly. Fits on this perfectly as well. All right, so now we start having this cannon that's starting to come together. This guy, when loaded, fits onto this perfectly. So it just sits there. And then when I turn on my hair dryer, it will fire out. So I want to show you something. So I put the ping pong ball in and it got stuck. Oh, there goes that ping pong ball. So let's get a, let's get another green one. The ping pong ball actually gets stuck. It doesn't flow through it doesn't slide in so it can't be fired out there's this little ridge that the ping pong ball is getting caught on and you can really just kind of etch it out and it'll just work perfectly let's see if I can show the camera hello moto let's see so it's right it's right there so what I do is I have this little wedge and I'm going to actually just work out and etch out that plastic until I'm able to get my ping pong ball. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I had to go out to the garage. I was using this little baby one. I think it's a quarter inch. So I went out and got two bigger ones because I need to chip away some of that plastic. Oh, look at that. Ha ha ha. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. But let's see what happens. And we have our first official. <laughs> awesome. Pretty cool, right? 
So we have our hair dryer shooting out the ping pong balls now. But what we wanna do is we wanna extend this a little bit. I want my nozzle on my cannon to just be eh, six inches long. So I can use this and say, okay, that's about six inches. So on this one, you might wanna have a family member help you. Awesome. Now we just put this in here. Ah! <laughs> so this is in there. It'll probably stay in there when I turn it on. So there you have it. Uh, but I'm gonna actually take a little bit of PVC cement. I got this at Lowe's as well. I'm just gonna put just a hair, just, I mean, I'm talking the smallest amount. And it comes with a little brush on the inside. I'm just gonna put it on the outside. I'm gonna take the side that is not as smooth, so I'll kind of hide it. I'm just gonna take one little bead here. I'm gonna not bring it close to this end piece here. So I'm gonna just slide that in there. There's actually like a little uh, ring, and this sits on it perfectly. So it'll go in, it won't go too far so it won't block the T. And uh, since it's a hair dryer, I can turn it on and maybe blow some air into it to help dry it quicker. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah, that stuff dries quick. It's probably not, com it's not completely dry, but just another second. When I travel and go out to shows and I work at schools and I do hair raising science, these are fun because I can have a lot of them ready and they're easy to fit into a tub. I have some longer ones also, uh, they're four foot. Let me grab one of those. All right, so here is a larger cartridge. Um, it kind of looks weird. It's probably out of the whole, yeah, it's out of the whole shot. Look at that, it's huge. So I can hold it sideways and you should be able to see the whole thing. That's jumbo, it doesn't, I mean, it looks cool, it'll work, hopefully. Um, I personally like the smaller ones. And if you were setting up in your house, maybe like in the living room, you guys could set up cartridges and you could fire them at each other. So a couple of things about this little cartridge. One, you can see these little black tabs at the end of it. This came with the tube, all right? So the eight foot long tube I was showing you earlier had two of those on it. I bought extra tubes just so I could have some extra end caps what you do is you fire this up. You load it. Water. What we're doing is we want air to be flowing through this part. And we want really a small amount, if any, to be coming up here because it's putting pressure on the balls here so it's not being sucked in as fast. So how do we fix that? We use one of these guys, another end cap. Fits beautifully right into the back of the T. All right, so check that out. It really didn't change much. All I've done is reduce the amount of air that can flow through my T. What I wanna do is I wanna cut part of this out so that I can control where the air from the hair dryer is going. Okay, so I wanna show you this. What I did is I took this and I cut a little bit out here, all right? So now when the air flows through, it's not going to have as much air coming out of the top. It's gonna to force the air down the bottom. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it into my T. Here you go, this is what it looks like. All right, so then we're gonna pop this back in. We're gonna load up our cartridge. So I've got my cartridge full. I'm gonna start this. Are you ready?
and none of them get stuck. Because what I've done is I'm controlling and forcing the air out the bottom with my little connector, with my little end cap, the way I did that. So there you have it. What a quick and fun way to build a ping pong ball shooter or cannon at your house. You know, for $17, you can have yourself a ping pong ball cannon shooter that you can have fun at home with friends and family. And more importantly, this is how you do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. First, let's do some hair. Oh yeah. Now, let's have some fun. Reload. Reload. Ah, here's the big one. And the grand finale. Make us a noise. <laughs> That's so awesome. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell so you know when more fun videos are on the way. And stay tuned. I'm actually going to be taking this and sizing it up and making a ping pong ball cannon with a leaf blower. So now I gotta pick all that stuff up. That's the worst part. Or we don't pick it up. Oh, <laughs> that idea of Brunelli's principle, right? Um, air that's moving faster decreases pressure. And so what happens is we're cr actually creating like a suction, right? So it's pulling air this way. What we're doing is we're pushing air through the tube, which is moving faster, which means that the air below it is being sucked up. So we created a cartridge which allows us to shoot the ping pong balls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this upside down. So imagine you set up the station in your room and your mom and dad are coming up and you're like, don't come in. I don't want you coming in. I'm doing homework. And the hairdryer is going like, Boo! And they're like, you're not doing homework, you're playing with my hair dryer. You're like, don't come in, I warned you. Get yourself a bucket of ping pong balls. Turn it on. Load this up. And then suck them up. Ooh. So we have our one in the...